Hi folks and welcome to the Racer Report with head coach Steve Pearl. My goodness, another great week for the racers as they move up in the polls. We'll tell you more about that in just a moment. Uh, but it was a week where the racers scored another two big wins at home. And on Saturday they did it against the sellout crowd. But first on Thursday night, Murray State welcomed in Jacksonville State and the racers had to fight really, really hard. They went to the line some uh, 35 times, made 24. Uh, Dante Poole had 21 to lead the racers as they beat Jacksonville State 66 to 55. And then switched to Saturday, uh, not a seat in the house, sold out here at the CFSB Center, the largest crowd uh, in the history of the building of 14 years, uh, over 8,600. And the racers came away with an 82-74 win over Tennessee Tech to go 18-0. And afterwards, we caught up with Dante Poole and Isaiah Cannon. Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, I mean, you you always you love winning. You know, winning always brings out the the smiles, the joys, and everything like that. Uh, I mean, this season can be the total opposite. You know, we can be kind of up and down. The chemistry can be up and down. The vibe can be off. You know, but uh, we're just we're just playing together. In the locker room, we're together. Off the court, we're together. On the court, we're together. It, it's just like a family. So we love winning. We got a great group of guys. Great coaches on our on our team to prepare us for great wins like this. And uh, we're going to try to continue to keep doing the things we've been doing to get to this point and uh, try to keep this winning streak going. And that will take us to this week as the racers hit the road. The first game is a Wednesday night game on Racer TV at Moorhead State. That'll tip at 6 o'clock Central Time. And then on Saturday, the racers go back up to Edwardsville to take on the Cougars in a game that'll tip off at 8.05 on ESPNU. If you're a racer fan, do your best to get to those games this week and help out the racers get a couple of big wins on the road. Well, we're here at the CFSB Center with another smiling Steve Prohm today as the racers won two big games last week uh, against JSU and then Tennessee Tech. The Saturday game was a sellout here. The polls have come out today and the racers now up to number 10 in the coaches poll and number 12 in the Associated Press poll. And uh, Coach, uh, you, you guys just keep uh, taking it one game at a time. I know it's a cliche, but that's what's working for you right now. Yeah, that's. I just read, uh, Ivan just tweeted something about just, you know, humble, hard work, good kids. Uh, you have a chance to do special things, and that's just how we're, we're approaching it. Uh, today we'll, we'll get better with ourselves today. We got some things we need to clean up. Uh, just watching the last two games, Jacksonville and Tennessee Tech, and then Tomorrow and uh, Wednesday at shoot around, we'll get ready for Moorhead State, and we've got a tough road ahead this week. Yeah, this is this is a tough two-game uh, trip for the racers, and I, I've got to say, of course, in all the years I've been in the OVC, I've never ha seen the racers take a Moorhead to Edwardsville swing. It's usually Moorhead to EKU, but that's the way the schedule is. So we're going to roll the highlights here and uh, take a look at Saturday's game, a record 8,691 at the game, and it was just an amazing day, Coach. Uh, in an amazing college basketball game. Your team got off to a good start in this one. We did. We got out to a big lead, 26 to 9, and that was huge. Uh, we were able to get stops of our, get defensive stops. And when we're guarding people and we're getting stops, we're very good in transition. We can score points in a hurry. And you can see Isaiah, Dante, those guys really got a, you know, a great ability to make threes, and they've done it all year long. Well, the racers were driving and dishing, driving and dishing, and you saw Poole. Uh, hit a three from the corner and then Ed gets out on the break and I thought the house was coming down on that dunk right there. Yeah, I think that made it 15-5 early and what we've got to do, we've been able to get good starts and we've got to sustain leads, whether it's at home and on the road and you do that by taking care of the ball, continue to defend, but we got to do a better job rebounding the basketball and making better decisions offensively. Well, the, the racers uh, got a couple of uh, baskets. This one off a of steal. Uh, the Daniel slam was off of a steal too. Uh, 15 to 5, and then Dante Poole had a career high 28 points. He hits the three there. It's 18 to 5, about eight minutes in. Yeah, really proud of Dante Poole. He's having as good of a senior year as you probably could dream of. And there's a shot right there by Zay Jackson, who you just mentioned is freshman of the week in the conference. Great honor for him. And Dante, player of the week. But really, credit Dante. He's been a great leader. Uh, and he's been a great part of the program for the last four years. Uh, Stacy Wilson, uh, I just think he. He, you could see it, He's, he keeps getting better and better coming off the bench for you. He's been good. He gave us a good good minutes the other day against Tennessee Tech. He, you can see he makes the floater, then he gets the steal and transition defense, then makes the self unselfish pass that uh, freed Isaiah open for an open three. Well, that made it 26 to nine, and then uh, Dante Poole, not only uh, can he shoot the three, but throughout his career, we've seen him take it to the basket, and he, he got a shot to go there. 
And there's Stacy Wilson again, sneaks in among the, the tall timber and gets the put back 31-19 with 5.56 to go. Kevin Murphy, you know, he's been a kid you've been trying to guard uh, for four years, and you, he's just a great player. He's a very good player. He's one of the, he's without question, one of the top players in this in the Ohio Valley Conference, and he's one of the top players in mid-major basketball and uh, has an ability to really score. He's got great size on the perimeter, good, good length, and he's done a better job this year of making threes as well. Okay, so the last uh, two minutes of the half, Coach, they got a bit of a run on you and cut it to three. What was going on there during that time? Well, we had three or four of our guys on the bench with two fouls. You know, I think Isaiah, Ed, Juwan Long, and maybe even Latrez were out of the game with four, with two fouls each. So we had to weather the storm. But uh, regardless who was out there, we didn't do a great job boxing out, and we turned the ball over and gave them some easy baskets. And they scored off offensive rebounds. That's what really kept the game close in the first half. Well, and then uh, the racers were hitting about 57% uh, from the line for most of the game. But then at the end, they made 10 of 11. Uh, and here we see uh, Long get a tip off off a of Brandon Garrett miss. That gave the Racers a six-point lead. Just great defense here. Good pass. Pool finishes there. Yeah, and that's, again, scoring off your defense. We want to score off our defense. We want to play transition basketball. If we don't have anything easy, then we'll run offense. But when we're good is when we're out and running and really guarding people. Uh, and then uh, Juwan Long. Uh, this was uh, after a made basket. Uh, the Racers quickly down the floor. Uh, Long gets the three-point play. This made it 51 to 45, six uh, minutes to go. Uh, twice, Coach, in the uh, remaining, just I guess around the 10-minute mark, there were two times where Tech uh, tied the game, but each time the racers answered. Yeah, each there time. Was, yeah, there was a big possession. It was 58 all. I think Dillard missed a free throw to give them the lead, and then Dante came back and. He missed the three, he got his own rebound, he came back and hit the three, put us up three, and we, able, we were able to weather the storm from there. Uh, Zay Jackson uh, you know, make, made a great shot there as well. Uh, at that point, uh, Poole had had a, a career high. Uh, there was a technical foul called in there too, and the racers took advantage of that. But here is the Poole three where he missed it, yeah, got this, his own rebound and collected himself and just dra drained it right yeah, there. Yeah, that was a huge team. play to put us up three later, later in the game. And, Again, can't say enough about Dante, 28 points, eight rebounds. Uh, and here's Isaiah Cannon. Uh, he had 24 in the game uh, and uh, just kept taking it to the hoop. 65-61, racers on top. Zay Jackson makes a great feed for Long for the three in the corner. It's a four point lead with uh, four minutes to go. And I'm pretty sure this baseline drive by Poole right here and the foul, pretty sure that was the last field goal for the racers at 237. And from that point on, the racers made 10 of 11 from the line. What, what happened to get that turned around? Well, <laughs> it just, we, we, just happens, looking huh? at the stats, I think we were 13 out of 25. Um, and then we ended up making our last, like you said, 12 or 13. You know, there, there's you can't put your finger on any of that. We just got to continue to shoot them, shoot them in practice, and, uh, and we'll continue to do a good job. Hopefully we can stay around that 75, 80% plateau. Well, what a game for the racers. 82-74, they moved to 18-0, and, and we mentioned a moment ago, Number 10 in the coaches poll, and number 12 in the Associated Press poll this week, Dante Poole, uh, Player of the Week, and Zay Jackson, Freshman of the Week in the OVC. We'll take another break here with Head Coach Steve Prom of the Race Report and show you the win over Jacksonville State when we come back. Wave Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave Advantage. Call today. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to 
a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Murray State University's award-winning student-produced newspaper is online. TheNews.org is your hotspot for national news, coverage of events in the Western Kentucky region, and all things Murray State. Winner of the Kentucky Press Association first place best news story and second place best special section, the news.org features something for everyone, including breaking news updates, daily videos, live racer basketball updates during the games, entertainment news, and blogs. The Murray State News arrives every Friday, and on the news.org, you can stay up to date 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The news.org, the official website of the Murray State News. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohl. Murray State sitting at 18-0. Two big wins last week and we've showed you the, uh, the win against Tennessee Tech. And now let's take a look at the game against Jacksonville State. This was uh, on uh, Thursday night for the Racers. Uh, another great crowd here at the CFSB Center of about 6,000 uh, folks. And uh, again, Coach, uh, I think the, one of the big themes uh, for your teams this year is you've gotten off to good starts each game. I, I don't remember a, a really bad start for this team uh, so far this season. We've had a couple of them, <laughs> but um, you know, the, the one thing we emphasize before the game is we want to try to win, win the first five minutes of each half, win the last five minutes of each half, and if you can do those, so many points are gained or lost in those ten minutes right there, um, you know, you're going to put yourself in a great position to win the game. And Credit Jacksonville State, they had a good game plan, they came in here, really defended, really tried to control the tempo, and they made it tough on us all night. Well, the racers uh, got off to an 11-5 start here. Uh, you saw Dante Poole hit a three and then a layup plus the foul. Brandon Garrett uh, gets the benefit there after Long made a great steal. It was 13-9. Uh, great wraparound pass there by Zay Jackson uh, to get the slam for Daniel. Yeah, Zay, very unselfish, can really put pressure on the basket. And if you're open, he's most likely going to find you. Well, th this was a this was a dogfight the, the entire game. Uh, Coach Green. Uh, which you've known him for a long, long time since your, your start at Alabama. Just really does a good job coaching his team. The, the racers led it 25-23 uh, at the half. Uh, Cannon hit the shot there right at the end of the half. And uh, there were a lot of fouls called in the game. You guys went to the line uh, 35 times, made 24. It, it just seemed like it was hard to get any kind of flow, and that's kind of what James wanted. He didn't want you to get in that flow. No, that's what he wants. He wanted to control the tempo, keep the game ugly, uh, and they did a great job. Credit them. They really defended and made it tough on us each and every possession. Uh, but what really broke the game open, we kind of sped them up for a little bit, and we were able to get out in transition. We got up, I think, 61-48, and that kind of put the game away. Well, let's uh, move ahead then to 16:04 left in the game. Uh, pool. Uh, gets an gets the assist from uh, or Cannon gets the assist from Poole and puts it in, and then this was off an inbounds play. This is a set play, and uh, boy, Isaiah's you know you don't think he can get up like that, but that that's a nice dunk right there. Yeah, it's pretty good uh, finish. Good pass by Ed. Great finish right. by Isaiah. You know that was a little cut off the inbounds play, and then with 12:50 to go, uh, we've been talking about uh, Stacy Wilson. He gets out uh, here, uh, makes a nice pull up jumper. He's been good. You know, when he's making shots, that's the one thing he can really do to help our basketball team, making shots. And if he's open, people need to find him. He's doing a good job running the wing for us and just need to take care of the basketball a little bit uh, better, a little bit. Well, Dante Poole, is, I think his foot was on the line there. That was almost a three. And then Long feeds it in to Mushat. He gets the hoop and the foul. This is where uh, the racers started to get a, a little bit of separation here, 45-37 with 10.42 to go. And then down the stretch, I thought Zay Jackson was really good for you with, with, the, with the way the foul situation was. He played uh, uh, really good minutes for you, 23 minutes, and, and did a good job here. Uh, hits the three. That was a 13-point lead with 4.08 to go, and uh, the Racers go on to win at 66-55. Uh, that was a tough one to get, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a tough, tough game. Tough game, and I knew it was going to be like that. Everybody thinks you're supposed to win by 20 and 30 points. Mm -hmm. but. I'm glad we just fortunate to get out of there with a win. Well, it was a tough, tough conference game for the racers, uh, no doubt. We're going to take another break here with head coach Steve Prom on the Racer Report. When we come back, we'll take a look at that sellout crowd from Saturday night. There's a new.
unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Explore a new world. 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 Hi, folks, and welcome back to the CFSB Center on the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. Uh, Coach will be joining us again in just a moment. Uh, but first, uh, in this segment, we're going to talk about that record crowd here at the arena, uh, 8,691. My goodness, uh, what an exciting atmosphere it was. And for all of you who didn't get a seat Saturday, make your plans to uh, get a ticket for the January 28th game against Eastern Illinois. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, the Murray State players certainly noticed that it was a sellout. They certainly noticed the atmosphere and Dante Poole and Isaiah Cannon commented on the crowd after the game. Uh, yeah, it was a great feeling. Uh, after everything, I mean, the, the good plays or the bad calls, you can hear them voice their opinions. You know, they're, they're happy, a bad call, you hear them, you know, you can hear some people yelling at the refs and stuff like that. But it's just, I mean, it's a great feeling playing in front of, in, in front of a crowd like that who's actually, you know, loud and emotional and uh, into the game. They was there from, from beginning to end, um, full of energy. And uh, like Dante said, they had voiced their opinions when a situation didn't go right or when we was making a lot of great pay plays. And like I said, they, they was tuned in and locked in and, and gave us great support today. Well, the sellout crowd was certainly not lost uh, on Dante Poole and Isaiah Cannon and the entire team coach. Uh, I mean, it was an electric atmosphere, only the third uh, crowd of 8,000 plus in the CFSB Center in 14 seasons, and uh, man, it, it was fun. It was. It was great. Uh, a great experience uh, for our players. Great experience for the fans. It was a great coverage. ESPNU TV game, and I don't think there was an open seat, whether it was the benches up top or the chair backs down below. Yeah, uh, we've got some video. Uh, our photographer and uh, producer Jacob Young. He went around and and took a look at uh, some of the. Uh, signs and things that were made up and he's gonna roll that right now uh, as we'll take a look at that and uh, uh, some a lot of people put a lot of thought into these uh, signs before they came and I, I love uh, there were there were a lot of afros coming out because Ed I guess it said he was gonna wear an afro Saturday <laughs> yeah Ed wears the afro at home and he'll have it braided I guess for Wednesday at Moorhead but a lot of publicity with Ed's hair uh, I, and I love the just the enthusiasm that you saw you saw people uh, you know, making up, that's a go racers across there. We even had a little game of hoops going on up here. On the yeah. And you can see they got the new Mr. Ed t-shirt out now with the talking horse with an afro, which is becoming a hot sales ticket here in Murray. Well, I'm, I'm looking one for myself, but uh, and there, there's the t-shirts, Coach. Uh, it, it's just great because I think there's a lot of people uh, in Murray that maybe have not come to a game for a while and they're discovering that man this is this is good fun Yeah, it's just great great experience that you know people here They're kind of born and raised on Murray State basketball from one to you. It's just in your blood That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to games and 
we wanted to continue to win and continue to bring more people out. Well, uh, it was just certainly a great atmosphere. And uh, my favorite sign, though, was this one right here. The young lady, I think on the other side of the sign, had 17-0. and 0, And then as soon as the, the game uh, ticked away, she flipped the sign over and it said undefeated 18-0. and 0. So the racers uh, certainly enjoyed that big crowd. And, and to the fans, we appreciate all of you coming out. We realize some of you didn't get into the building. So make your plans to be at the next home game, which is on the 28th uh, here against Eastern Illinois. So we're going to take another break here with head coach Steve Prom. Come back in just a moment here at the CFSB Center on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. There's a new, unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Hey, Racer fans, don't forget to check out the home of the Murray State Racers. That is GoRacers.com. We just had a new, new, uh, a new redesign of the website last week. Uh, so some things maybe in a few different places. We've added a calendar feature to the left side, which is very handy uh, for knowing uh, live stats, live video, live audio. You can get to it all very quickly. So check it out this week at GoRacers.com, the home of the Murray State Racers. A lot of people bragging on that, Dave. Well, thank you. We, we've been working on that since, since last summer. So uh, we, we love our website. And uh, actually, Coach, you, you, since you mentioned it, uh, we get about 45,000 visitors a month to our website, and we're, we're very happy that, that people can follow the racers. Uh, uh, one of the guys that was very, very happy, and I was very, very happy for him too, and that was Neil Bradley, the, our voice of the, the racers on radio for 21 years. Uh, he won the OVC Media Award uh, last July for 2011 uh, and it's only the second year that the uh, sports information directors have been voting on that and a couple years ago we, we felt it would be good to honor uh, someone and, and Neil's the second uh, award winner. Uh, your, your thoughts on, on Neil and what he means uh, to Murray State? Oh, Neil's the best. He's as good of a play-by-play -play and, and, and team broadcaster as, as there is in the business. He has an unbelievable passion and love for this university. He's been following this uh, program a long time, whether it's uh, football, basketball, baseball. The uh, best thing about it is his passion for the game and passion for Murray State and really honored to be working with Neil and have him by my side. Yeah, me, me too. And uh, of course, we end every show with Neil's best calls and we'll do that uh, before we leave today. Uh, real quick, Coach, uh, let's take a look at the OVC standings. Uh, Moorhead State got a big win over Eastern Kentucky over the weekend. Uh, right now, it's the racers on top. Uh, you're six games in to, to a long road here. Southeast Missouri State still has one loss. Then there's a bunch of teams with two. So, you know, we're still early here. There's a lot of hoops left to be played. Still early. Uh, we're fortunate. It's always good in conference play to kind of get out of the gates quick. SEMO's having a very good year up to this point with just, you know, being 5-1 and one in the conference as of right now. And like you said, it's and then it's kind of log jammed a little bit. A lot of teams with two and three losses. So. 
every game is going to be tough. Moorhead's coming off a very good win against Eastern, a tough team to play. And I think now they're 3-3 three and three in the conference, so they're going to be ready. But anytime you play in the conference on the road, whether it's the SEC, the A-10, the Big East, it is hard to win. You've got to be locked in, ready to go. Well, hopefully the racers uh, will be as they go to Moorhead on Wednesday on Racer TV and then Saturday on ESPNU. We're going to take our final break here on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm. When we come back, we'll wrap it up here from the CFSB Center. Wave Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave Advantage. Call today. For more than 30 years, the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision has helped athletes achieve their dreams. The dream of playing football and hearing the home crowd cheer time after time. The dream of competing for a national championship. The dream of an excellent education. The dream of becoming a leader. And the dream of playing the right way with sportsmanship. NCAA Division I Football. It's not a dream. Come see for yourself. Hi folks, back here at the CFSB Center to wrap it up on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm. It's, it's been just a wonderful time for Murray State fans. 18-0, up to number 12 this week, or 10 this week in the coaches poll, number 12 in the Associated Press poll. Uh, but you know, coach, and I keep saying this, uh, and I've been with you uh, a long time, even before you became head coach, that the program has done such a good job of taking it one game at a time. And I know that's, that's a little cliche-ish, but and you guys do a great job of turning the page and forgetting about it. And, you've not, and not once have you talked about rankings or winning streak or anything. It's the next game. Yeah, that's something you can look back on in, in, uh, in April, you know, at the banquet and celebrate all your achievements. But right now you got to just be in the moment and you got to prepare each day uh, for practice. Today we'll practice, tomorrow we'll practice, and then Wednesday's Moorhead State. And Coach Tindall, I'm sure he'll be have his guys you know, totally focused for us Wednesday night. All right, so uh, the racers Wednesday at Moorhead State, Saturday at SIUE. The next home game is right here against Eastern Illinois on the 28th. Get your tickets early. Uh, we'd like to have another sellout when, we, when the racers uh, come back home. So, Coach, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Dave. it. Thank you, racers. Okay, we'll see you next time on the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. And as we leave you today, the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. He had a good week, too. <laughs> Steps in, 18-foot jumper, front of the rim won't go. Rebound, Poole, back up, and in for the Regions Bank Bank Show. Left side, Dutch pass goes from Poole to Long, into the corner, Cannon from three, and it's good. It's 11-5, racers. They are already better than Thursday night. They hit three threes tonight, only two against Jacksonville State. Swansea knocked away by Cannon, he steals it. Racers want to run with it. Down low, it goes to Daniel, he stuffs it in! It's 13 to five, Murray State. It's out top, it's Daniel, he drives in, nearly lost it, he finds Long, reverse off the glass and in for the Regions Bank, bank shot, and Steve Payne takes a 30 second timeout. Racer lead is nine, Cannon gets by his man, crosses over, he finds Jackson for an open three and he hit it! Suddenly Jackson has found the mark from three point range, it's 21 to nine. Do it. Steal by Cannon. He flips it up the floor to Wilson. He's in the corner. He finds Cannon. Catch and shoot three. It's good! Cannon's third three of the night. It's 26 to 9.